spiders come out. Hi, doll. We don't need gold clothes. Our baby is a mummy. The head is covered with bandages, too. Try the skirt on. Make the bandages look older with dry pastels. Where does our mummy live? <laughs> baby Tahira is relaxing under the sun. She's bored. So she starts jumping and running. <laughs> oh, what can I do for fun? Hmm, what's that sparkling thing? Oh, a lamp! Mom, look what I found! Honey, it's magical. Rub it. Greetings to the ones who freed me. I am Gina. How can I serve you, girl? We need something that will interest my little mummy. Hmm, that's easy. A miniature copy of the castle of Agraba impressed everyone. The baby loves it. Thanks. Don't mention it. That's what genies are for. Are you done playing? It's time to go back to the Nile. Come here. Get on the camel. Let's go. An old dog toy gets a new body. Cover a wire frame with hot glue. The figurine became coal black. Cut out a foam paper circle. Add gold and ornaments. A pin turns into a wand with Ankh, the symbol of eternal life. Anubis is the ruler of the underworld. Where is our goddaughter? Oh, we have something for you. <laughs> oh, what a big mummy. She is all grown up. Well, this gift is for you. What's in there? Oh, spiders, move. Cool, an Anubis figurine. I've been dreaming about one like this for a long time. She's happy. Very happy. <laughs> this LOL OMG doll is getting some new features. Purple eyes and eyeshadow done with gold glitter. Eyelash extensions make the eyes bigger. Now add a wig. Boo! <laughs> the mummy is covered in bandages. Sand left traces. <laughs> Baby Tahira is bored in her pyramid. I am bored. Let's do something fun. Oh, what should I do? I'll have to bring my pets. The crocodile and leopard are Tahira's favorites. <laughs> Yay, my babies. Come cuddle. <laughs> Tahira, it's late. Time to sleep. No, I want to play. You won't find me. While she was running away, Tahira fell into an underground labyrinth. Ah! Where am I? It's so creepy. How do I get back? <laughs> Tahira! Hello? Nanny! I'm so happy! Don't leave me alone again! Yeah. A slime container will turn into a terrarium. Separate it into parts and remove the paint. Two pairs of wings are going to become a bug. We made legs out of a wire and a dark ribbon. A styrofoam ball is covered in gold. Add a sticky layer and sprinkle sand. This attracted tiny beetles. It's a terrarium for special creatures. Tahira was walking around her gorgeous palace. There was a weird object in all her treasures. Hmm. Oh, what's sparkling there? Oh, pretty stones. A golden ball. Baby, let me show you my pets. Wow, cool. Aw, cuties. The beetles love playing, just like the mummy. They put silver balls inside their silver house. It's so fun to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> Tahira grew up, but she still wears her bandages. Fashion in the mummy world hasn't changed in centuries. A circle with an opening goes on the neck. Strips will go on the wrists. It's time to work on the hair. Snap! Bobs are always in style. <laughs> Make the bandages look older. 
The Eye of Horus is a timeless beauty trend of ancient Egyptian makeup. <laughs> Evelyn is an archaeologist. She studies the lost temples of ancient Egypt. In one of the expeditions, she found a lost entrance to a pyramid. Wow! I can't believe my eyes! This will be a groundbreaking discovery! It's like I went through a time portal. Nothing was touched by grave robbers. What's that? The Book of the Dead? Well, what do the characters mean? Omos, Ratindo, Zio, Ashtir. Oh, the spell accidentally awakened Tahira. Ha <laughs> ha, I finally got enough sleep. Did you call for me? Ah! The mummy came to life! Hmm. Oh, my Book of Shadows. <laughs> Reading the wisdom spell made Tahira grow up some more. The doll rose from the sand. <laughs> Let's clean her. Time to get a new hairstyle. Snap! Cut threads of artificial leather to make locks. Tahira is proud of her long, thick hair. With a hairstyle like this, the hair will be perfect every time. Eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyelashes. It's all about the eyes. Gold lipstick really suits her. A bandage dress replaced the bandages. Golden blue inserts decorate the skirt. Gold springs decorate her strands of hair. There are bracelets on the wrists. <laughs> Maids prepared a warm bath with milk. Your Highness, let me help you remove your clothes and lay down. Wow. Oh, how nice. <laughs> An elegant scent will follow you everywhere. <laughs> and your skin will feel like silk. <sighs> Make a crown out of a gold cord. Complete the headband with chains. There are gold rings and a big crystal in the center. <laughs> it's finally Tahira's coronation day. The cat goddess Bastet and Anubis are closest to Tahira. Let's remove the cloth. But there was a snake guarding the cup. As soon as Bastet reached out, the snake tried to bite her. No, I'll get the crown. Only Tahira can handle snakes. The snake wrapped herself around Tahira and calmed down. <laughs> the path to the crown is free. Your Highness, accept this crown as a symbol of your eternal ruling of the living world and the underworld. Anubis gave her the scepter. The queen was crowned. Glory to Tahira. <laughs> Years passed. Her face got covered with wrinkles. But when she looks in the mirror, Tahira sees the same queen of Egypt. <laughs> Make an outline of a white dress. Catch. Wow. Decorate the outfit with satin ribbons. Old Tahira still wears big gold jewelry. <laughs> there are Ankh earrings in the ears. And a tall headpiece goes on her head. <laughs> Everyone in the kingdom knows and loves Tahira. Old Tahira knows the ancient science of alchemy. She can turn stones into gold. Great. <laughs> Nubby. Bring me some water, as you wish, your majesty. Oh, what have I done? Sorry, honey, I didn't do it on purpose. Everything's okay, don't worry. I like it much better this way. <laughs> we made a tiny cat. He has black fur and beautiful eyes. Did you notice this rare color? The cat wears a gold collar with rubies and lapis lazuli. Meow! Tahira still loves spending time with her pets. Here, my darlings, I got some milk for you. They got in line. Would you like to play? Bast is in the front. Oh, you only want to chase a feather. I see you're having fun. Sharpen your claws. And you'll go to the palace with me. 
Make yourself comfortable. No other cat in the kingdom has beds like this. My cats are going to have new clothes made out of gold thread. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Matilda. The richest zombie in this world and the underworld. <laughs> Our zombie can afford the best undead stylists. We can see her bones showing through. Her makeup and body art are ready. We just need to draw pupils and white spots. <gasps> Did you know that zombies get eyelash extensions too? Only the rich ones can afford it. This zombie doesn't need a bronzer, but some gold highlighter wouldn't hurt. Matilda's body is covered in precious dust. And beautiful roses. The crystals sparkle like diamonds. Make corset shorts out of stretchy fabric. Add a long sparkly train. And a top made out of sequin fabric will impress any zombie fashionista. What a pretty look with a corset. Where are my boots? Ugh, these ones look cheap. Don't judge a book by its cover. A couple of details and the boots are gold. Precious stones go on the top parts of the boots. We need to change the hair. It's all tangled up. It's better to trim it a little. That's much better. The headband with precious stones will look great on her hair. Earrings like this are trendy. This zombie girl lives in luxury. Money makes the underworld go round too. Matilda enjoys her rich life. Ma'am, how can we help you? We're ready to make your every wish come true. Oh, these fans. They can find you even in the afterlife. I want more money. Why get dirty when other people can do it for you? The soil moved and opened. A couple of hands with bony fingers holding cash appeared. My assistants are so generous. A whirl of money surrounded Matilda. I can afford anything with a bag full of money. <laughs> Here is poor Jill. For the last 100 years, she slept in a small coffin. She can't afford beauty treatments. But we can paint her body instead. A couple of brush strokes, and the skin looks nice and blue. Add the right makeup for a zombie. Her body wasn't preserved too well. It has rough patches, and we can see her bones. <laughs> but the nail polish is still fresh. Jill is trying to find things in a garbage can. That's not right. <sighs> Nothing fits me. Suddenly, Jill found the perfect piece of fabric. Yay! The zombie was so happy, she took a shoe with her. This fabric is enough to make a simple but unusual dress. Wow. The shoes are covered with mud, but Jill is fine with that. Her legs have fishnets on them. That's my look. Oh, right, heels. This is affordable undead fashion. Her hair is covered with centuries old dust. A high ponytail is a perfect hairstyle. Jill digs a hole to rest in. Oh, I'm so tired. Wait, zombies don't sweat. She's done. Now she can relax. <sighs> Woohoo, I'm making a mud angel. <laughs> Jill didn't lose her sense of humor. <laughs> Use an old lamp base and a couple of columns to make a gorgeous gravestone. We just need to cover it with gold spray. Draw a skull with decorative elements. The top of the column is decorated with flowers and gold berries. The bottom of a gravestone is secured with stones. And the shine will help you find it even at night. Matilda never worries about money. She could easily afford this gorgeous gravestone. You can tell how rich a zombie is by their gravestone. An old gravestone always loses to a gold one with columns. <laughs> The poor zombie's gravestone got broken. The styrofoam cracked. Paint it to look like stone. The bottom part looks abandoned and it's covered with moss. Poor Jill has to dig a hole herself. After waking up, she had to look for a gravestone. I can't afford a new one. It's okay, I'll borrow someone else's. 
<laughs> she found an old broken gravestone near an old grave. It looks like no one has been here for a while. I need it more. Thanks, stranger. Turn a cardboard box into a coffin. Cut out the lid and give it the right shape. Build the whole thing and cover it with gold spray paint. The inside cover is made out of satin fabric. Decorate the outside of the coffin with lace and rhinestones. Sprinkle the lid with glitter. The outside has sparkly precious stones and a chain. Not every zombie can afford to sleep in a coffin like this. Something lights up the whole hall in the darkness. It's a rich zombie's gold coffin. Matilda just woke up. Oh, I had a nightmare that I forgot where my treasure is. I need to hold some money. A glittery life is all she cares about. <laughs> Cover an old coffin with pieces of coffee stirrers. The inside isn't covered with silk, but with burlap. Cut out a cardboard lid. It stays together thanks to a couple of foam paper clips. A toxic sign warns you that a zombie sleeps here. There was a coffin in the abandoned grave too. I'll take it too. I need somewhere to sleep. Jill covered her coffin with old boards so the coffin doesn't collapse. I'll renovate my resting place. Sleeping on the wet ground is unacceptable. Uh, maybe it can be a table too. <laughs> and the zombie fell asleep. Make a flower crown base out of green and dark flowers. The heart shape is pretty symbolic. Decorate it with roses and berries. Add a ribbon and it's ready. One time, the cemetery guard saw the silhouette of a girl in all the graves. He usually sees her at the same time of day. Hmm, it's empty here. That means that gorgeous girl lives somewhere around here. The security guard decided to bring her a gift as a sign of his love. <laughs> I hope she likes black roses. But she came a little later. Jill was flattered by the attention, and she likes the gift a lot. Wow! Draw bones on a small dog. He has a gold chain. Leashes are so last century. Zombies also love to go to parties. The cafe is full of guests. Matilda took her dog for a walk. But the dog ran around so much that he wrapped her up in his chain. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Falling on the street with people watching? Only the smell of money made me feel better. Make a fish tank out of a slime container. A toothpick and hot glue turned into a fish skeleton. A silver fish with a bow looks so pretty. The fish swims in green liquid. And she feels great! Fish don't need a lot of care. An old friend came to visit Jill. Hi. Could you take care of my fish for a few days? No problem. Leave it on the barrel. Thanks. You're the best. Bye! Jill got used to taking care of the fish. The fish even became her only joy in life. <laughs> Make every zombie's favorite dessert, brains on a stick. But they're not human brains. Shape the brain and highlight it with pastels. Gold icing covers the top. Decorate it with sprinkles of different colors, beads, and a bow. Served by a zombie chef. Matilda got used to having only extravagant food for dinner. Delicious, soft brains. They have such a tender flavor, and no one was hurt in the process. The dog also wants to have a snack. Turn a skewer into a bone. Well, poor Jill has to be happy with what she has. Hunting for food didn't end well. There was only an old bone at the dumpster. It's better than nothing. I can't satisfy my appetite with a bone. I can just imagine how tasty it used to be. Rich and poor zombie are having lunch on their graves. It turns out they're neighbors. Jill has been chewing on this bone for days. Matilda ate too many treats, so she's not hungry. 
The rich zombie noticed what the poor zombie is eating, and she decided to share. Uh -huh. Poor thing, she has nothing to eat. Here you go. It's too much for me anyway. Bon appetit. Jill was touched. I could never afford to eat like that before. Oh, it's so tasty. Jill got really emotional. <laughs> After that, the two zombies became good friends. Matilda started appreciating what she has, and she's helping Jill out too. Hello. Ah! A monster kidnapped a doll! <laughs> oh, don't panic. It's just Lalalu. Now we can create any character we like. For example, Beetlejuice. But don't say her name three times. Draw blue eyes. Add dark eyeshadow. Now it's time for eyebrows and lipstick. Wow! Hey, what about my hair? Hmm? <laughs> Beetlejuice got her signature look. <laughs> Take stripey fabric. We got it from a graveyard. Go over the templates, and a stripey outfit is ready. Now it's time for a fitting. Okay. Wow, this outfit is perfect. Yes. Complete it with black boots. <laughs> hmm, let's choose the hat. Yay! Make a hat out of foam paper. Trendy Beetlejuice loves colorful outfits. She looks perfect. <laughs> These teenagers found an old attic. <laughs> wow, there are so many things laying around. Look, what's that? Hmm? As soon as the friends started studying the mini house, a magic storm took them there. Hey, looks like I have guests. <gasps> Welcome to my kingdom. This is my skeleton friend. And these are abandoned graves. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, fun! <laughs> Beetlejuice can control things. Uh -huh. Now it's time for the car. The tires are black and white. Draw a stripey print. It's obvious that this is Beetlejuice's car. There are monsters on the back. It's time for Halloween races. Beetlejuice versus Jokey. <laughs> Beetlejuice is gonna drive her new car. And Jokey is riding her old bike. The cool car, but I'll be the champion. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. You can't catch up with me. Uh -huh. Monsters won't help you. My bike is miles ahead of you. Let's go. And a start. Beetlejuice quickly passed her rival. She went even faster and crossed the finish line. Yay! Jokey admitted it was a silly idea to compete with a cool car like this. <laughs> This jelly monster left a sticky spot. Uh-oh. Ouch! Aw, don't cry, baby. We're gonna turn you into a Halloween star. Take a seat. Only a true professional can perfectly dye the hair. Wow! Jack's magic lit up her eyes. <laughs> All thanks to Halloween. Tie on a ribbon and tool to make a belt. There are rhinestones sparkling on the neck and the hem of the skirt. A new outfit needs a new pair of shoes. Complete the outfit with a mini hat. So elegant. <sighs> Lady Pumpkin will impress everyone. <laughs> Pumpkin decided to look around the magic forest. Hmm. Ah, there's such a special atmosphere here. I love it. Wow! Oh, what's that? A pumpkin? Huh? Uh, 
excuse me, do you live here? Hmm? I guess. Are you alone in this big forest? No, I grow with my friends. Mm-hmm. All the pumpkins got together because Halloween is their day. <laughs> Doll, we need you. Get out of the phone. <laughs> Draw big brown eyes and long eyelashes. Aw, fluffy baby. I always want to carry you with me. And an interesting hairstyle appeared. A dress like this will be perfect. <laughs> Fishnet stockings and big boots. Great choice. We need to create a headpiece for our dark fashionista. A big hat really shows off her personality. I announce a school talent show. First, a young magician comes up on stage. A couple of movements, and a unicorn appears out of a hat. Then, a pumpkin girl is doing tricks on a skateboard. Bravo! That was really cool. It's Lydia's turn. Hello. What is she up to? Hmm? She's calling her friend Beetlejuice. Hey! The ghost is entertaining the guests and a surprise afterwards. Beetlejuice is creating a Halloween look for every guest. Yes! Lydia won the competition fair and square. <laughs> Cover a miniature bulb with a LED light. Add a cap for beads. Put the light inside a ring. An old lantern is still working, lighting the way for the travelers. <laughs> Weird portals, magic balls, and spiders. Ooh, they did a good job this year. Boo. Who's there? <sighs> hey! Huh? Oops, sorry, friend. You're one of us. <laughs> Let's fly to discover new worlds. Yay! Make a craft out of light clay. Shape it as a sandworm. Add colorful spots to the face and the fish. Lots of tasty treats took their place on the plate. Help yourselves! Uh, hi. Hey, this beautiful pumpkin is for you! Oh, wow, thanks for the gift! But what's the occasion? Hmm. It's Halloween! Woohoo! Oh no, silly me! Soon kids are going to come to trick or treat! Uh huh. Oh, the decorations are here. We just need to fill the monster plate with lollipops. Here's our first guest. Hey. Trick or treat? Huh? Treat! <laughs> Zombie courier brought a mysterious box. Hi. What's in there? Open up. Empty? What kind of gift is that? Add gold parts. And bead legs. Close and decorate with stickers. It says, open me on top. Springs are sticking out. This gift box has a surprise inside. For the anniversary of their friendship, Lydia got Beetlejuice a small gift. No peeking, one more step. Open your eyes! This is for you! Wow, cool! <laughs> that was so funny! Oh, I'm happy you liked it! It's a good gift! It's creepy and fun! <laughs> Fold orange paper like this! Snap! 
Wow, there are so many of them! Hang the second garland on a floral wire. Beetlejuice pictures will add to the atmosphere. Lydia went to the Halloween store. You're in luck! We have a big sale today! She is choosing garlands with a monster shop assistant. Check these out! Great, I'll take one for pumpkin and the second one for Beetlejuice. The friends are gonna love these decorations! Decorate the plastic lid with a green circle. There are skewers around the circle, wrapped in a pipe cleaner. Half of a plastic case turns into a brown spider. It has a happy smile, teeth, and flexible legs. <laughs> How cute! Each part is painted purple and green. Wrap the side with pipe cleaner. What a fun carousel! Pumpkin is showing us attractions in the amusement park. There are monsters and spider webs everywhere. Oh, don't be scared, it'll be fun. This is Halloween. Yes. Hey, look, a new carousel. But it's so noisy here. Uh, what should we do? Everyone went away. Oh, did you hear? Apparently there's a new carousel. Well, let's check it out. Finally, there was a crowd of kids. <laughs> Everyone wants to ride the scary carousel. And Pumpkin is happy to do something nice for little ones. <laughs>